No. This is How Much Should I Spend, where we test a product at various price points to let you know which is the best value for your money. Today, we're gonna to be testing out four different temporary hair color sprays. The products I'm gonna be testing out are L'Oreal Paris Colorista One Day Hair Color Spray, Manic Panic Amplified Color Spray, Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Rainbow Mist, and Hush Prism Airbrush Spray. I'm gonna be ranking all of the products based on how good the color payoff is, how transfer-proof they actually are, and how easily they wash out. After my last experience using a hair coloring product, <laughs> I feel like I look like the Joker. Uh, my expectations are pretty managed. I feel like being a brunette with curly hair, sometimes products like these just don't work out for me, which is fine, but I figured, let's try them anyway. This product rings in at $7, making it our cheapest spray of the day. And I chose this one because to me, it's just such a drugstore classic. I always see the L'Oreal Colorista sprays in all different colors at any CVS, Walgreens. So I figured this would be a good one to have in the running. Nothing happened. Still nothing happened. <laughs> I see like a stripe of a color in my head. All right. No. Is anything happening? I see like a I see like a slight purple tinge. First impression of L'Oreal spray is not great. I feel like I ran out of the spray in five seconds, it ran out so quickly. If you're someone like me that has very thick hair that's gonna need a lot of coverage, you definitely will probably need to buy at least three of these little tiny cans because my hair barely looks purple. Now that I have this color spray on my hair, if you could even see it on my hair, I'm gonna have to test out how transfer proof it actually is and you know what that means. I'm gonna bring back my very tall friend, Grant, who is wearing a very white shirt. We're gonna have a little dance party and let's see how much of this product ends up on his shirt. What? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> the evidence <laughs> is all over Grant's white shirt. Next, we're gonna try the Manic Panic Amplified Color Spray in the shade Electric Lizard. And it is electric. This is, this is green. <laughs> I'm really kinda scared to try out another green after my last experience. But I don't know, Manic Panic is a really, really good hair color brand. So I'm expecting this one in terms of color payoff to be probably the best. This retails for $11 and it comes with 3.4 ounces of product. I'm surprised at how much I actually like this color. I feel like I look like a little curly haired Ramona flowers and I love it. I am so impressed with the color payoff that this Manic Panic spray has. I feel like I also didn't have to use as much. Oh, a little green. I see a little bit of green down here.
So we're moving on to the next one. We're gonna try out the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Rainbow Mist in the shade Dewdrop. That's really cute, I love that. I do think that 14 bucks is a bit pricey for a temporary color spray, but then again, that L'Oreal one was our cheapest option and it really did not perform well and we went through product very quickly. Once again, I used the entire can of color hairspray on my hair and it barely covered most of my head. It is really disappointing that these smaller bottles aren't really doing the product justice because I think I would need more of them for it to look like at its full color payoff. Nothing, I don't see any blue. It all still looks purple to me. The one thing that is coming off a lot is that shimmer. There's like shimmer everywhere for some reason. We're finally down to our last hair color spray. So this is the Hush Prism Airbrush Spray in the shade Malibu Pink, and it is our most expensive spray of the day, coming in at $24. I chose this Hush Prism Spray because it was by far the most expensive hair color spray that I could find on the internet. I just think 24 bucks for a temporary hairspray is, it's a little wild. But you know, we all make our choices and you can make that one if you want. Well, I finished up the entire can of the Hush Prism Spray as well. I'm really shocked and disappointed that a spray like this that costs 24 bucks is this, I guess, weak on the color payoff. Not that all of the color payoffs have been like phenomenal, but still, for 24 bucks, I was expecting something way more pink and like in your face, like you could see that. And I used the whole can. This is four ounces of color spray in my hair and it just looks like this. But I genuinely don't see any pink. Mm I've tried out all four of my temporary hair color sprays and I think that I finally have a winner. And that winner is the Manic Panic Amplified Color Spray. It did leave a small green tinge on Grant's shirt during our transfer proof test, but it totally outperformed all the other sprays when it came to color payoff and how easily it washed out. The spray was definitely the most vibrant and colorful against my dark hair, and that also meant that I didn't have to use as much product as with the rest of the hairsprays. It also took me around four minutes to shampoo the spray out of my hair, which made it the easiest out of all of the sprays to wash out. Last place goes to the L'Oreal Paris Colorista One Day Hair Color Spray. It kind of failed all across the board. It wasn't great with color payoff. I had to use the entire can to even get like a slight tint of purple in my hair. It got all over Grant's shirt when we were doing the transfer proof test. And on top of that, it was the hardest to wash out out of all of the sprays. So when it comes to hair color sprays, I say spend no more than 11 bucks and try out Manic Panic's Amplified Color Spray.